Hello and welcome to another episode of how to create a 2D car racing game with Unity. My name is Raja and in this video we're gonna show you, we're gonna learn how to uh, do, how to add audio effectively to your game. So in the last video we have created a simple, we have uh, learned a simple way to add audio to our game. But in this video we're gonna learn a more organized way to do that. We will do the same thing but in a more organized way. So let's get started. So first of all I want you to select the car and remove the audio source component that we have attached to it in the previous video. So let's go and uh, click the gear icon and click on remove component. Now I want you to create an empty game object. So create, create empty and let's go and rename it to audio manager. So this is the audio manager that's going to take care of all the audio that's going to be played in the game. So we, uh, since right now we want only one audio to be played, so we want to add only one audio source to this audio manager. And from the last video, you guys know that you need to have an audio source in order to play an audio and we have to attach a clip to that audio source so that we can play that audio and uh, we also have to attach a audio listener which is already attached to the main camera. If you don't know these things make sure to watch the previous video. I have discussed about these things in the previous video. So let's attach an audio source to this audio manager. Select that in the hierarchy and from the add component click add component audio and then audio source. Now, in the audio source, you can see here we have an option called audio clip. So in that audio clip, we want our this uh, we want this sound to be attached. So assign this sound here. Now uh, I will give a download link to download this sound. I have got it from Unity's car tutorial probably. Okay, so see, now we have attached the audio clip to the audio manager. So next we're gonna attach a audio manager script to this audio manager. So let's go and add component, new script and let's name it audio manager and create an add. So now let's go and open it in mono develop. Okay, so this is our audio manager script. So in this audio manager script, first of all we wanna get access to this. Uh, we wanna get access to this audio source so that we can access the audio clip and we can play that uh, as our wish. So we're gonna create a public, oops, public. What I'm doing, audio source, and we're gonna play. We're gonna name it car sound since this is gonna play the car sound for us. So let's save that and in the uh, what you wanna do next okay this is it and then uh, we wanna access this audio manager script from our car controller script so just open the car controller script and in the car controller script let's create a public audio manager and name it AM or you can name it whatever you want so this AM this is the audio manager and using this audio manager we can get access to this audio manager here and by that we can access this sound uh, where is that by that we can access this audio source here and all the audio sources that gets attached to it so that we can actually uh, stop and play any sound at any time Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is inside the car controller, uh, we have created the audio manager. Next, at the start, we want this audio manager to play the sound that is attached to the audio source. Okay, and as you know that I have attached this sound to the audio source. So right now, we want this audio to be played whenever the game gets starts. So in the start function I want to write am that is the audio manager dot using the audio manager we can get this car sound which is the sound source which is the uh, audio source 
uh, from where we can actually get the clip so click the car sound and let's dot play play okay this is a function remember that so what we are doing is we are we have access to this audio manager here this audio manager using that we are calling the we are getting access to the car sound which is attached to this audio manager this car sound uh, this car sound sound source is attached to this audio manager and we are playing the clip that is attached to this audio source the clip is this and this will automatically get played whenever uh, the start function is gets called or whenever the game gets started game gets started so here we are actually playing this sound via audio manager from car controller okay so since we are playing this sound uh, let's go and test it and see if it works or not so let's play it now as you can see the oops i have messed something up object reference uh, is not set to an instance of an object car controller dot start at assets car control cs Car control start. Let's see what I have done in car control start. In car control start, I have done aim dot car sound dot play, and it says that object reference is not to an instance of an object. Let's move that to move this to the awake function. Okay, so let's try it. it's still saying that let's try now I don't know what is happening here <laughs> I really don't have any idea let's take a look at that if I select the car yeah, you can see that I have an oh my god I haven't attached I haven't assigned this audio manager here so if you select the car from here you can see that here we have a car controller script and inside that we have uh, an instance of this audio manager okay so inside this car we are actually have this instance of this audio manager and from that we are accessing the sound source or audio source and I have actually forgot to attach that assign that audio manager here so let's drag the audio manager here so now all our errors will be gone okay so now let's go and play it and as you can see the <laughs> still exists <laughs> okay the variable car sound of audio manager has not been assigned okay like the audio manager oh, okay now select the audio manager I am actually forgetting this I have done this in the last video and I'm I'm thinking that I have done it in this video so first of all you have to uncheck this play and awake that is why the sound is actually playing uh, the sound is not actually uh, we haven't actually uh, played this audio from here but the sound is actually playing since this play on awake is checked next we want it to be looped okay so select the loop then now uh, in the audio manager in the audio manager we have this audio source and in the audio manager script we have this car sound and here we want to add uh, do you really need that yes here we have this car sound and in this car sound field we have to attach this audio source as you can see if I go to the audio manager script the car sound is an audio source so we have to attach that audio source to the car sound so let's go and let's click on that now let's drag this audio source to this car sound now we have access to this audio manager and now we will do it great I hope all letters will be gone let's play it now it goes like this and it goes on and now we can see one more problem we have is when the car gets destroyed the audio doesn't stop since we have made it to loop and we haven't actually stopped this so in order to do that let's go to the car controller script and in the on collision enter 2d where we are actually doing the game over activated so the game over is activated just below that do am dot car sound dot stop so this will 
stop the car sound once it just collides with another enemy car and the game is over. So now everything will be okay. So let's go and test it out. So let's go and play it now. As you can see, the sound is playing and whenever we just hit this car, the sound gets stopped. So this was how we add an audio using an audio manager. Uh, later on we will add more audios to this and uh, it will be easier for us to manage this. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot of things about audios and all that. So thank you very very much for watching this video. I hope you guys actually learning from me and also helping me to learn. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. And make sure to subscribe to this channel and like my videos. If you really like this, then like this videos. And if you want to know something or ask me something, just comment below or send me a mail or whatever. So thanks.